Great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in flesh. We go back to the very first chapters of human history. And we discover to our amazement that the first woman came out of a man. God brought the first woman out of a man. Ever since then, every man has come out of a woman. But the first woman came out of a man without the aid of a human mother. Quite a shocking story, isn't it? But then when we come to the life of the Lord Jesus, we discover that God brought a man out of a woman without a human father. The first is the beginning of the original human earthly creation, the first creation, and the second is the beginning of the new creation. So we read concerning the Lord Jesus, he was made of a woman. And standing there that day in Bethlehem, in a barn, she was holding the one who at that very moment was upholding the whole universe. When she kissed that little face, she was kissing the face from which shone the revelation, the light of the knowledge of God. When she looked into those eyes, she was looking right into the heart of God. And when she felt that little heart beat against her breast, she was feeling the heartbeat of eternity. But of course, after the fact, when we read the story, we realize it's the only answer to the problem. John chapter 1 explains it in terms of communicating the truth of God. And he says, However would you communicate God except by God, because there's nothing else like God. But of course, it's no good communicating God to us if you don't communicate God in our language. And so God translated himself into our language. Jesus is God in human terms. So if you'd like to know what God is like, so you can't go up to heaven and see him, because God is a spirit. But you know how God would act, and what God would do, and how God thinks, by looking at the Lord Jesus. God came down. I don't ask you to understand it. Great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in flesh. <laughs>